Over the course of the ages, Armored Warfare has seen plenty of curious inventions which eventually became a common sight on the front lines. From transport vehicles, armored cars, planes and amphibious vehicles to tanks both light and heavy. While the imposing design of these curious machines often helped to strike fear into the enemy, none of them had quite as an imposing look as the French attempt at building the first and so far the only vehicle to be classified as super heavy. This is sure to see, the largest operational tank to ever exist in the history of warfare. Char 2C has been introduced into the franchise in They Shall Not Pass expansion for Battlefield 1. It is classified as a behemoth and appears only on two maps in the game, Rapture and Swasong. Much like any other behemoth in the game, it will be assigned to the losing team in an event where the difference between team scores is going to be too large, usually exceeding at least 100 tickets in Conquest. However, unlike other behemoths, it will not create a spawn point upon its arrival on the map, forcing the driver to physically spawn at the base and enter the vehicle manually. Once inside, the tank will provide 5 slots for the players. One driver slot with an ability to operate the main turret equipped with a 75mm cannon, one rear turret slot equipped with a 20mm auto cannon, and three machine gunners covering the front, left and right side of the vehicle with Hotchkiss MT 1914 guns for anti-infantry use. Due to its nature as a behemoth and an enormous size, Char 2C is by far the slowest ground vehicle in the game, with very poor maneuverability, but also the most health and best armor protection out of all tanks available. The main 75mm cannon holds a single round with 5 second reload time, which upon direct impact is going to deal 270 hit points with additional 120 splash damage dropping down to 0 beyond 5 meters. Because of this, Char 2C is capable of obliterating most light vehicles in the game of a single shot, while the heavier vehicles will be able to take from 2 to 3 shots before being blown into oblivion. However, the limited rotation angle of both turrets, which are capable of turning to 170 degrees, means that without synergy between the players, Char 2C can be easily flanked and assaulted from the sides where it is most vulnerable. Dealing enough damage to either of its turrets can disable them for a period of 30 seconds, leaving the tank defenseless against the enemy vehicles and relying solely on the three machine gunners to hold off the infantry away from it. Its lack of anti-air defenses also makes it extremely susceptible to aerial attacks, as both planes and bombers pose the biggest threat to it and can cause high amount of damage with very little risk of retaliation. An attack from the above is certainly the best way to counter Shard to see, but any damage from tanks, field cannons or other anti-tank weaponry will help to make a dent and stop it in its tracks. The size of the tank also allows the players to sneak underneath it, but the best option for the infantry is to either take shots with AT rocket gun from a distance or use dynamite and AT grenades when up close. If possible, luring this beast into rough terrain or urban areas can also help to defeat it, as the extremely slow movement and turning speed can make it difficult for the driver to navigate through the tight and narrow corners. In the end, a capable crew can utilize this behemoth to wreak havoc across the map, and with its ability to both tear through the enemy defense lines and provide big and sturdy cover for the infantry, Shard to see can truly change the outcome of the game, especially when the score difference between the two teams are not extremely high. While it might be one of the rarer behemoths in the game, it certainly is one of the most formidable ones and under no circumstances should it be underestimated. However, in real life this vehicle has a vastly different story attached to it. The concept of a super heavy tank dates all the way back to 1916 when many belligerents of the Great War embarked on a mission to develop a counterpart to then new British Mark V tanks which were first used in combat during the Battle of Somme. This sudden revolution sparked an arms race with many nations looking to adopt their own designs for an armored vehicle capable of breaking through the enemy defenses and pushing past the trench lines in order to obliterate their strongholds. While the experienced army officials were in favor of smaller, more mobile and cost-effective vehicles such as Renault FT, the French government decided to order the development of larger and heavier vehicles instead. While most of the super heavy tank designs around the world never left the drawing board, France took that concept further than any other nation in form of Char 2C. Short for Char de Sceau de Grand Modèle, the design was conceived in summer of 1916 and with that the southern French shipyard FCM has won the contract for the development. Within a year, three prototypes were created, a 30-ton A version, 45-ton B version and 62-ton C version. Despite of the positive impression that the A prototype had on the public, ultimately the heaviest version was chosen by the French government and an order for 300 units was placed in 1918. 
In a matter of months, ten units were made, but not before the Great War finally came to an end, and with that the pressing need for such a vehicle has evaporated. The existing tanks were used as a propaganda tool for the following 20 years until the start of World War II. However, during those 20 years, the industry has made significant progress, rendering the enormous, slow and bulky shark to sea design almost completely obsolete. During the German advance on the Western Europe in 1940, a decision was made to send the remaining units to the south of France in order to prevent their capture. However, as the train transport came across a blockade, the French made a quick call to destroy the remaining tanks, with only one of them surviving due to malfunctioning explosives. It was eventually captured by the Germans and sent to Berlin to be put on display as a trophy, but with its disappearance after the Soviet victory in 1945, the rather underwhelming history of this machine finally came to a close. Despite its flaws and rather bad timing of the development, Char to Sea did not come without some novel ideas. It was one of the first tanks to have an exceptionally spacious hull that would host a total of 12 crew members. It sported one of the thickest armors of World War I, sitting at an impressive 22mm on the sides and 45mm on the front. The tank was powered by two engines, each generating around 250 horsepower. The electrical transmission from them allowed the trucks of Shard to Sea to reach the maximum speed of 15 km an hour. The final design weighed 69 tons, it measured 10.27 meters in length, 3 meters in width, and 4.09 meters in height, towering above all conventional tank designs of its era. The existing units were given a number designation ranging from 19 to 99, and they were named after the ancient regions of France. Poitou, Provence, Picardy, Alsace, Bretagne, Touraine, Anjou, Normandy, Berry, and finally Champagne, with the battlefield once in-game model portraying Picardy, while Champagne was the unit that survived the longest in real life. While the history of Shard to Sea is a tale of an exceptionally poor timing as well as bad decision making on behalf of the government, its portrayal within the Battlefield franchise shows how effective it could have been had the project reached the front lines before the end of the war. A true behemoth of a tank, designed for a style of warfare of a bygone era, it remains as one of the most imposing, largest and heaviest ground vehicles of the past century.